Okay, and this, the next one is uh, fresh mutable data, right? And user-facing analytics definitely demands uh, real time, right? Uh, like, like let's take the, that uh, social media platform, uh, the, the one that does the ads thing, for example, right? If you're a user, you have an ad advertiser, right? You're looking at the data that's five minutes old. That's not good, right? Because every second you're running ads, you're paying money, right? You're, you're losing money or paying money, right? If it, it's not working well, I want to know the result as soon as possible, right? This is why fresh is important. And mutable data is important too, right? Because a lot of things like, you know, a transaction, uh, like, like a transaction, like an order status, right? That thing changes. If you don't, if you can't really, you know, like support updatable or mutable data, you need to keep a change log of everything and do the aggregation or uh, aggregate, find the latest results sometime. You know, it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's not good, right? So mutable data is very important. And existing solutions really relies on merge on read, right? It means that, you know, we're, we're, like our analytical database, we use columnar store. So every, so the data is stored in a columnar fashion in large chunks, right? Updating that in real time is not that simple because updates are, you know, a lot of them are role based, right? And uh, existing solutions based on merge on read means that every time you write, you write into a different version, and there's a compaction job in the back end that does all, you know, merge them together, right? And this can have a huge, uh, the compaction in the back end can have a huge impact on query performance, not really only making it slow, but it makes it unstable, right? It's not really good for, for, you know, for production environment. And, you know, if you set it for two minutes, it's okay. But in the low seconds, it's probably not going to work so well if your, um, your, your volume is, is large, right? And what Starox can offer is a delete and insert mechanism through the primary key index, right? And, uh, so, uh, this primary key index, uh, you know, hash the primary key and you, you know, a store and you know exactly where, uh, where that primary key is stored on disk. So all of the, uh, update are, uh, are resolved at the data ingestion, right? So it's more like a merge on write kind of, uh, way, right? So this, there is no like, you know, merging different versions in the backend happening. So you know, this is, this can really support uh, real time mutable data, you know, for freshness of, you know, in the low seconds that's possible to do and with absolutely no compromise on the query performance.